Epson business scanners, like the Workforce DS40 and DS560, can scan from anywhere in the office without a USB or Ethernet connection. Download the most current Wi-Fi software from epson.com support and double-click the file to start the installer. Choose your language, click Next, and accept the license agreement to begin the installation. You can customize the installation as needed. When you're ready to go, click Install. After the Epson software has installed, the scanner setup window will appear. Choose Wireless Connection and click Next. Click Set up scanner for the first time and click Next, then Next again on the following screen. A screen will appear that asks you to move the connection mode switch to Wi-Fi. The next screen asks you to turn on the scanner by pressing the gray power button on the front of the unit. Wait for the Wi-Fi indicator button to turn blue before moving on. Press the connect button on the back of the scanner until the status and Wi-Fi indicator lights flash alternately, which may take up to 30 seconds. Once the lights are flashing, press next within two minutes to complete the Wi-Fi connection. Click next to bypass the firewall warning and the Wi-Fi auto connect screen will show you a progress indicator as it configures the scanner. If you get the message, your software installation and scanner setup are complete, then you are ready to scan. If you get a message telling you that the installation has failed, follow the on-screen instructions to try again. If the installation still fails, you can try the WPS connection option. First, click Next when prompted. Say yes when asked if your router supports WPS. Follow the on-screen instructions that guide you through pressing the WPS button on your router, and then turn on your scanner. Press the connect button again. If the scanner status light is steady, then click next. Click next again to bypass the firewall warning. The installer will search for the scanner one more time. Once connected, you will see a setup complete message. If you are still having trouble connecting, or would like to learn more about your new scanner, visit epson.com support.